Is there ears? There is some ears, buddy. We're out here today to do some testing for a video I'm going to shoot a little later. That is a chocolate round. That is lipstick. And so we're uh, on our other channel, you know, the, the goofball one. We're coming up with a video. It involves these, and this is the test run. There's a few lead pellets in there, but basically that's just straight lipstick. There's a fair bit of lead mixed in with that chocolate, so I think it's going to work just like a, uh, a wax round. Lipstick. See? I mean, it's like actual lipstick. Yeah, don't, don't ever show my grandparents this. The, uh, the lipstick I'm not quite as sure about. So, on board today is Pennsylvania. And don't take anything personally, fine folks in Pennsylvania. I just thought it'd give us a nice indication of what these are going to do. I've been keeping them on ice so they stay hard. I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out how this is going to work. I was hoping the lipstick would hold together and give me a, a nice solid mark. Clearly it didn't. Alright, so you can see there's nothing, nothing chambered in the gun. He left a reasonably clean bore. Well, let's try chocolate. See what happens. Did I mention I'd be doing this in drag? It sure was. There, and it hit right there. Yep, yeah, there's there's some wadding. She clearly, has, has some punch. The chocolate seemed to stay together in the air, and I don't believe it came out the back side. Yes, indeed. The chocolate is stuck in Pennsylvania. See, this had uh, quite a bit more pellets mixed in with the chocolate. I'd say a lot of it passed all the way through. Oh, geez. Touch the lipstick front. I know for sure it's realistic. Uh, as a comparison, let's shoot the book with um, a regular wax slug, maybe with a hardened steel ball mixed in. Oh, oh. Look at that nice neat hole right there. And then on the back side, carnage, because it went right on through. Didn't even slow it down. May I have this bullet? Nope, not until it gets fired. Let's set a, shoot at some petroglyphs. Yeah, authentic Native American rock art. Let's get a little bit of lipstick on it. I have one more lipstick round and two more chocolates. Now that was a little closer to what I was looking for. Look at this almost spray painting that took place. Poof, poof. That must have been completely held together when she went. That would look, look at that. There's the mark there. That would look pretty good, I think, on the high-speed camera. So that's closer to what I was hoping for. And I promised my boy we could shoot, look at this piece over here. 
we could shoot a board with some chocolate. Because if you know my son, you know that the thing... Oh my god, he's carrying a lipstick-covered book. Uh, hopefully his mom isn't watching. If you know my boy, you know that the one thing he wants to do... Wood. Well, bit of a disconnect between my helper and I. The last shell that I was handed, uh, and uh, didn't check apparently, wasn't chocolate. It was a regular wax slug with a hardened steel ball inside. So, uh, yeah, no wonder she passed on through. We're going to try it again with some chocolate. This time for real, right? That's better. And if anything, damage is more severe. Bigger hole, chunks of chocolate all over. <laughs> this is chunks of chocolate. Is that the one that had the chocolate? Yeah. That's There's called a wadding. Should we try to put this chocolate and hit a stone with it? <laughs> well, it wasn't chocolate. That was four shots to hit that. <laughs> ah, they're all going over the top. I'd make some excuse about the gun not having front sights, but I shot that thing a lot without front sights. That's just me. That was a, a bundle of wax held together with lead pellets containing a hardened steel ball. That rock never stood a chance. But... Overall, I think we're going to be fine. I think the test is going to work out okay. I believe the video we're going to make is going to be a lot of fun, and you will see that over on Blue Smoke Productions when we finally get her done. Otherwise, it's never a bad day when you're shooting stuff. That's the rules. Especially out here. i got to pick up all my stuff. Never leave your garbage behind. <laughs>